Yeah, I Come on, we got musical theater people in here. We may not have time for them. We may have to push them back to next week. No, we can't push them back. Joseph and the Amazing Dream Coat. Um, Technicolor Dream Coat. Technicolor Dream Coat. I've seen many musicals. I've never seen that one, and I'm dying to see it. Yeah. It's playing at Roger Rockas, and guess who we have, guess who we have, have on no the air with us right now? you got to tell me the name of your character again and speak right in there. Oh, yeah, scoot all the way up. Actually, actually, you have such a great, loud speaking voice. I don't even know if you... Tell us your real name again. I forgot already. Sutherland. Donald Sutherland. You're Donald no. Sutherland, <laughs> the actor. Not quite. No, I'm Daniel Sutherland. Daniel but Sutherland. In Donald's, relation? There is a relation, yes. Uh, Kiefer, Mary, Donald, Cousins. Yes. yes, Kiefer is Donald's son, and I am distantly related to them. Wow, you got that, that on Ancestry.com or something like that? No. This is before Ancestry.com, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, is Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, is a Bible story, right? Yes, it is the story of Joseph from the book of Genesis. And is and the word Technicolor in the Bible? I don't believe so. I think it might be. I don't we'll, think, look that up. we'll look it up you know on the what? break. We're definitely going to have to Google that one. But tell us, tell us about this story and tell us about your character. I love the <laughs> outfit with the money signs. <laughs> Money, is this money, from money. the show or is this just your this is from the show. your day wear? Yes. Yeah, he he walks <laughs> up and down Van Ness and Olive in the tower at Fresno. Actually, I've seen somebody in an outfit like that yeah. going up and down Olive. You could be a rap artist with the money <laughs> and the glasses, yeah. or nobody's, you could be Jesus. Nobody's giving me any looks walking down along Olive or Van Ness. So, now you this show what? is where? It's the tower. Where, where does this show take place? Uh, this show is at Roger Rocca's Dinner Theater. We just opened two weeks ago, wow. and we run until July not, uh, not July 19th, July 15th. Cool. I keep getting confused. So Roger Rocca's right here in the Tower District. Yes, right Wednesday there. Wednesday through Sunday or something like that? or uh, Thursday through Sunday, and most Sundays we have two shows. Wow. Awesome. So, yeah. This is really cool. Tell us about your character. Well, the character I'm dressed as now is Potiphar. He's the captain of Pharaoh's guards, and he buys Joseph as a slave. And then later throws him in jail for an alleged scandal. Ooh, sounds very interesting. What is the whole story about, though? Is it based on the Bible mixed in with modern times? Like, how does that work with the technic? How do you say it? Technicolor. Technicolor dream code. It is based in biblical times. It's story of Joseph and his 11 brothers. Okay. And they're jealous of him. They want to kill him, but then change their minds, and they sell him as a slave. God, it sounds like my sons. Yeah. They love each other. They want to kill each other. Maybe not sell them as slaves. Um, I keep on Googling this video. There's like a blonde lady singing. Was Did she play the part of... I know your password now. I know. Well, it's very easy. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Everybody knows they the password They keep on showing now. the blonde lady. So is there like... A narrator? Uh, yeah, is there like yes, a narrator? there is a narrator. Okay. Is that Lori? Does Lori play that part? Uh, She's so pretty. I love Lori. <laughs> She's so awesome. No, it is played by the uh, very talented Heather Price, and this is her second time doing it at Roger Rockas. Yeah. Really? We know Heather so Price here. She comes here. She does? Yeah, all the time. Is she related to Vincent Price? Yep. Yep. <laughs> now, um, so, so let's say somebody wants to go. They just go over there and get in line. and They can. Uh, they can go up to the box office, which is right there in the lobby, or they can go online to rogerrockas.com. It's or, better to get tickets in advance, I would imagine. Yes, it is better to get tickets in advance. Because you want to reserve a table. I know some women that do like a girls' night out. A lot of families do this as tradition. Mm -hmm. So many families that I've talked to, they're like, oh, yeah, this is a tradition, like either around Christmas or a girls' night out even now. It sounds pretty cool. And I'm thinking, not to get all religious religious on you guys, but I can imagine women coming out from Bible studies, Sunday school, like kids, oh, even definitely. kids' yeah. groups. Oh, seeing definitely. it because it's a fun it's a fun way to portray the Bible and it's a Would story. you say this is a family show? Can kids come or is there bad words? Oh, kids are more than welcome to come. This yeah. is a great show for, to great, for the whole family. family. That's what I was going to ask you. Is there more adults just because of the story or no? Not so much. No, okay. and this is, this is a great show to bring kids to. And if you've got really young ones, it's great because it's not that long of a show. It's mm -hmm. only about an hour and a half Perfect. with intermission. Mm -hmm. That's not bad with intermission, and the best part about it is, well, besides you know the musical and the actors, you get dinner. I mean, it's a true, it's a true dinner theater, and it's very yes. good food. Oh, the food is amazing. It changes with every show, and our chef Eric De Groot is unmatchable. Yeah, 
So it's always good food. You're never disappointed with the food at Roger Rocco's. Athena grew up in a dinner theater. I did. My dad. Slipped well, my under dad. The table. Yeah. I, they they <laughs> they said I was sleeping with the producer who was my dad because we slept in the. She got all the roles. She got all the roles. <laughs> Being half Greek, my dad's from Greece, and he opened up this restaurant um, back east mm. in Connecticut, and I was. We had a dinner theater. Then there, it was an old tavern. It was huge. It was really long, and half of the tavern was uh, for banquets, and they made a dinner theater. So I grew up doing dinner theater. So Roger Rock is like, it just really takes me back because you guys are doing all the musicals that a lot of people grew up with yeah. and that were famous for a while on Broadway. You know, mm -hmm. um, and now are, do you sing or just act? I do both. Can you sing a little something, something that you would do? I have a feeling he's really loud, like our opera singer. Yeah, we had the opera singer last <laughs> week. Can you go, well, Joseph? Well, my character that I'm dressed as now, the only thing he really sings is more of a roar, because he's really upset. He goes, okay, like do that. a roar. We hold like on, that. hold on. Ah! Joseph, I'll see you rot in jail. The things you have done are beyond the pale. Oh my God, that was awesome. <laughs> that was good, now that's the old, you, you know what that reminds me of, almost like Les Mis or something that, oh, <laughs> I am Jean Valjean, or whatever his name is. Yeah. Yes. Jean Valjean. <laughs> yes. That might be your next musical. I'm gonna talk to Lori about that. <laughs> and if you ever she need a little the advice on what to put on next. Extra. Yeah. I'm available because that was one of my Maybe favorites. Epony or whatever. You know, Joseph and the Amazing Dream Code, I had no idea that it was um written and produced. Mike just filled me on Andrew Lloyd Webber. Is that yes. right or was I just making that up? I mean, it is An Andrew Lloyd Webber wrote the score and Tim Rice wrote Tim the Rice. lyrics. Was this his, one of his early man. shows? I this is one of his early shows. He wrote this I think while he was still in college in the late sixties. Wow. I Along said before, with Jesus. Before Jesus Christ Superstar. This is before think, Jesus yeah. Christ Superstar, yeah. See, I didn't know that was Andrew Lloyd Webber for some weird reason. I thought somebody else did Jesus Christ Superstar. Uh, Godspell, did he do that too? No. Cats? No. He did Cats. Godspell is uh, Stephen Schwartz. Schwartz. That is an amazing one too. Yeah. An amazing and Technicolor dream coat. So anyway, so they called the box office or go online at where? Mm -hmm. Good Company Players? Uh, RogerRockers.com. RogerRockers.com. And then the number for the box office is 266-9494. And do we have the info right there? It's right on the awesome. screen. Awesome. Now, they can go for dinner or the show or both. Yes. And that's my favorite part. They have the cocktails, too. Oh, oh yes, we that would be Mike's yeah. favorite part. <laughs> yeah, you have to have a little bit of wine. Hey, did the kids do like a little performance before you guys? Because they did that at a Christmas story a couple years ago. Yes, we have our junior company. And junior they do company. a little 10 to 15 minute pre-show. They'll do snippets of famous songs and they'll dance along to them. And that'll go on half an hour before the show. And then... Because on, um, <clears throat> on Thursdays, the junior company will go on at 7 o'clock, and then the regular show will start at 7. Okay. On Friday and Saturday, the junior company will go on at 7.30, and then the regular show will be at 8 o'clock. Tell us the dates that Joseph and the amazing dream, Te technicolor. technicolor dream coat. Um, tell us the dates again, and get your tickets fast, because we have another month, right? Yes. We, uh, we opened two weeks ago, and we run until July 15th, and we go Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and most Sundays we have two shows. This is awesome. Lori, do you want to come on the air with us really quick? Yeah. Lori Pisano, she is the, right. the queen all behind yes. Roger Come all the way in the middle here. You may have to take See, a knee yeah, or something. Tell us, We're tell used to us people by feet down here. Getting. Well, let me ask you this. We, Athena and I tried to get tickets for Mamma Mia, oh, but we couldn't. I'm sorry, but it's coming back first yes. thing next year for you guys, okay. for the mm -hmm. people who didn't get their tickets there early enough. There you go, yes. Mama. And that is the music of ABBA. And it's a, I love what Roger Ruckus does because you guys take the old school musicals and the modernized and the most popular ones, even that are movies now. What's going to be the next musical after Joseph? Into the Woods opens on July Ooh. 19th and runs until mid-September. And that's also fun for kids and adults. Both these shows have great mm. stuff for adults. It's yeah. witty. They're funny. But because they're so active and they also yes. tell their fairy tales and Bible stories, yes. they're clean and... <laughs> is Into the Woods like um, Little Miss Riding Hood? Hood? Yeah. They, yes. which, isn't it's, it all the fairy tales they, kind of? Yeah, kind of like fractured fairy tales cool. that uh, Stephen Sondheim and James Lapine combined all these fairy tales into one big story. <laughs>
Do you are you are you and Joseph or are you I'm and not the other one? Either one. No I'm, way! I'm, I'm, I'm I used getting to ready see to you. go across the street and in, in Steel Magnolias at Second Space. So Steel yeah. Magnolias. Yeah. That's another one. That's another one. They Girl, just keep coming. You are. This woman is amazing. I remember you tap dancing at a Christmas story. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god. I'm I'm like 48 and dying. I got arthritis. I could barely walk, and you're. Freaking tap dancing up a storm! Well, I love you're amazing. I had to work really hard, and the kids were kicking my rear. I'm and she's afraid. she's almost forty eight too. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, the reason I brought we're, up Mama Mia is I brought up Mama Mia because these shows do sell out. So if you're even yes. thinking of going, mm -hmm. go online to where? To rogerbrockus dot com. Mm -hmm. And what about Second Space? Where do they get? For they, that. that they can go to gcplayers.com. gcplayers.com. Okay. When's Steel Magnolias? Uh, it opens in uh, August. Okay, but, you're, but you're busy <laughs> rehearsing. It takes a long yeah. time. I, yeah, I won't start rehearsals until July. And then I'm telling you. August. Well, these things take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Not only are the actors preparing, like singing, dancing, or whatever, we're talking people that make costumes. And I mean, there's so much to it. You guys are a part of a musical family it's a lot of work and you know what i would suggest to see it because i'm gonna see it i've never seen either musical that you just oh. mentioned oh yeah you'll like them mm -hmm. okay like wait them. wait wait before we go let's do it we don't want to get sued we're just gonna play <laughs> play a little it out. snippet go to rogerrockers.com get the tickets uh if you didn't get the number or the website call us here at Central valley shock and we'll give you the number we'll be back with lucy brown right after this